What you got there? Dog was digging in the backyard. He found a camera, connected it to your computer to see if anything was on it. <gasps> oh, heck no. <gasps> oh! oh, bro. Oh, heck no, player. This is something that you would find like on the dark web. Oh. I'm sorry, but that Easter Bunny is uh, past its prime. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Easter Bunny with that creepy mask, got the jacked up teeth, man, where's your dentist? Girl or boy, you're looking like you're getting ready for the purge. It's next week, by the way, okay? I mean, you still got time. I swear, if my dog, if you were digging out in the backyard and then you found some creepy camera and then I saw this creepy sketchy bunny on it, ooh, I'm taking you back to the pound. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm, kidding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But girl, you better get that out of here. Oh yeah, today we're taking a look at creepy TikToks you should not watch at night. Dang it, it's nighttime right now. Oh yeah, I, I should not be watching these at night. I mean, dang, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because we give in to peer pressure, am I right? Yeah, man. But yeah, before we keep going, please uh, give in to peer pressure and give this video a like. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And click the links in the description below and get yourself a dang dog. He's at crowdmade.com slash dangmattsmith. Beg your parents to buy you one. Yeah, man. And yeah, comment down below your favorite animal. Hopefully it's a dog, but yeah, if not, you know, let me know if it's a cat or a cheetah or a tiger. Let me know. And yeah, let's go ahead and check out another one. Oh, ew. This is a 60-year-old Chuck E. Cheese robot. Dang, that thing is creepy. Oh, heck no. Five Nights at Freddy's? Mm -mm, you ain't gonna get me. I ain't, you ain't gonna catch me working up at Chuck E. Cheese. I heard about those kids that disappeared at the Chuck E. Cheese. You ain't, you ain't gonna get me. Dang, I just wanna know, like, uh, Mr. Like, are you a, a mouse or a rat? How are you a mouse or a rat and you got, like, the teeth of Bugs Bunny? Like, what the heck? I just wanna know, man. Like, are you okay? Did your trip to the dentist not go so well? <laughs> Dang, yeah, we got him. Chuck E. Cheese, more like Chubby Cheese. Yeah, man. I mean, no, no, not not because of you. You're, you're not chubby. You're fine. He chubby. That's what the C stands for, Chubby Cheese. I thought I heard footsteps. Then it looks like someone sat next to me. Bro. <gasps> oh, I saw it go down. Oh. Girl. You was haunted. That sucks. You better call the exterminator or something or call a priest. You call a priest for like if you're haunted, right? I mean, you could call the exterminator too. You know, maybe have him spray some stuff. It might, I don't know, might deter the ghost. That's creepy. Like you guys saw the bed like, like actually seep down. Oh, that's kind of nasty though. A ghost farted on your bed, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hell. Ghost just like, oops, ignore that. Ghost fart. Sorry. I swear, if I hear one noise, I... I'm gone, man. I'm gone. I'm surprised I took you with me. Dang. Normally, if it's like a real emergency, I'd leave you. Every man, woman, and dog for themselves. Okay, so this random nodding app just brought us to this creepy town. Oh. And honestly, when we saw this, we should have turned around and left. We continued up the mountain, though, and there's always abandoned cars and nobody around. At this point, we're definitely trespassing. We couldn't even really turn around at this point because the road was so narrow and it was such a steep drop off on the other side. But we were kind of intrigued at how creepy this was, even though it was getting dark really quick. And next thing we know, the sun had gone down and the moon came out, giving it just more of a creepy vibe. But we had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. Dude, and this what happened. The <gasps> I don't know how to explain this. The only ones in a random rock falls. I think that was a sign that we should leave. But we, uh, we kept going. Everything about this place was just giving me really bad vibes. And when I looked into here and saw this, as soon as I realized it's some sort of face, we took off running. I don't know what it is with this town, why there's always abandoned cars and no people and mannequins in the window. 
but I'm deleting this app. Dang, Steven, what's wrong with you? I don't know why and how many times I always got to say it. White people investigating. Are you, are you kidding me? So if you guys don't know, there's this app. It's called Rando Nodding. Please don't look it up. Please don't download it. Don't do any of that because it's not worth it. It's this app. It takes you to these creepy places nearby. And a lot of the places have like a weird, eerie history to it. Like, you know, somebody was murdered there or like somebody died there or something or a place that's supposedly haunted so yeah you guys ain't gonna catch me doing it i hope you guys follow suit and and do not like go on that app stay safe let all your crazy friends do it but you don't do it you know don't give into that peer pressure that's creepy man i'm done i'm done mm -mm, not today you couldn't fake this man fake what dang <laughs> the heck what? What kind of it glue is this? Something off in one piece of that. Bro. I guess not. Oh my god, something's gonna pop out. <gasps> what what is it? What do we do? It's a bird? Come film it. <laughs> y'all got a bird in your house y'all legit have a dang bird in your house like who do you call i think there's like animal control or something but geez i don't know i i would just grab the raid and then just start spraying i just be like ah. like do you get the broom or something like that you get the big push broom and then you just walk I'd get my samurai sword or something and just start slicing. I'm sorry, but if a bird's in my house, man, you you got to go, man. You got to get out. You don't pay rent up in here? Mm-mm. Oh, oh, you do? Oh, you do pay rent. Okay, well, all right, you can, you can sleep in the guest room. Somebody get the bird cage, lock them up. Dang. Maybe like a bird whistle will work. Does anybody know any bird calls? Did like, what? Did I say something about your mother? I'm sorry. That's scary. Y'all need help, y'all need help. Are some terrifying things about Disney that you didn't know about. The only thing terrifying is that goatee. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, man. But seriously, shave that off. Number one, Disney's secret underground tunnels. You heard me right. Right beneath the Disney parks is a vast network of tunnels. These tunnels are used by the workers to get around the park easier and faster. But some kids have accidentally found these tunnels and actually gotten lost down there. Number two, spreading ashes around the park. It is actually a pretty common occurrence that Disney park visitors will spread the ashes of their loved ones around the Disney parks. Ew. But the creepiest part is the most common place people spread the ashes is in the Haunted Mansion ride, which has led the ride to actually become very haunted. Oh wow. So haunted actually that thousands of people every year claim to see this same ghost boy at the end of the ride crying for his mom. Ghost boy, no. That boy is peeking around the corner looking like you got games on your phone. No, I ain't got no dang games on my uh, Okay, I do. I got some games on my phone. But like, you know, I don't, I don't want you touching them. You know, I mean, uh, coronavirus. Look, man, I don't know. Ghosts could have the virus too, okay? I don't need you spreading that towards me, my guy. Oh, that's it? Dang. Yeah, Disney, you guys got some secrets out there. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna talk about that, but you know, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Disney, you you guys, I, I feel like you guys might have buried some bodies out there. Up at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. My dog was digging in the spot all day. <gasps> Is that your cousin? What the heck? Dang. Oh my gosh. It's another one. You found something else? Ew. It's a compass with coordinates inside. Really? It says, I doubted if I should ever come back. What? At the top, it says Robert Frost, the road not taken. Maybe that's just a line from, you know, from Robert Frost's book or something like that. There ain't nothing creepy about a dang compass you find in your backyard, man. Come on, come on now. All right, it's a little bit creepy. It's a little creepy. Yesterday, I oh, found part this compass two. hidden underground. I searched up the coordinates that were on the case, and it wasn't too far from my house, so I went to check it out and it took him to this bag in the woods. It smelled really, really bad. Ew. I think it was a dead animal. But at this point, I was so creeped out, I put together my tent so I could leave. It started raining on the way back and I couldn't help but feel like someone was following me. You're done, man! Curtains, man! Ooh, they all like 
Get off my property. If you see them out somewhere, man, it, it's over, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You might as well just, you know, go ahead, call it quits, give on up, order your last meal, and uh, yeah, call it a day. Those people look scary, man. Jeez, are y'all dressed up for Halloween already? Or are y'all getting ready for the purge? Man, you can't purge me! Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That wasn't a challenge. That wasn't a challenge. Please, please leave me alone, dang. I have very sensitive skin. Heck to the nah, player. Today we'll be talking about the slit mouth woman. The what? slit mouth woman is a spirit known for wearing a face mask that approaches her victims by asking them if they think she's pretty. If you answer with no, she'll kill you with a sharp weapon that she carries around. Dang. If you say yes, she'll take off her mask and ask you, am I pretty now? Yeah. If you say no, she'll kill you with the sharp weapon weapon and if you say yes she'll cut your mouth just like hers the only known way to avoid her is to answer with maybe this will confuse her and give you a chance to run away but running doesn't always work because she tries to appear in front of you as you try to escape the slit mouth woman oh i mean y'all could come up with a better name than that you guys had better watch out for the slit mouth woman yeah, it doesn't really have that great of a ring to it. Hey, what are you doing over there talking to Gengar? Leave him alone. But girl, you better get that out of here. Yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Click those links in the description below and get yourself a dang dog. Yeah, man. He's at crowdmade.com slash dangmattsmith. Just beg your parents to get you one. Let's go. But yeah, guys, please be safe out there. Don't go investigating and you're gonna be all right. And yeah, watch another video and I'm gonna see ya in the next one. Peace.